Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So it is almost the end of summer in the Northern Hemisphere. It is almost the end of winter in the Southern Hemisphere where I am. And I thought I would wrap up this month uh, before I get into all my product empties and everything with a summer tag video. It is called the Summer Not a Bummer Tag. This tag was created by Stephanie Clayton and I'm personally being inspired by Amy from Living in Chrysalis. So this tag I had pre-filmed a while ago. My phone decided to drop on the floor. Probably my fault. Actually, it was my fault. And yeah, I'm re-filming these summer ones just before August ends. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to re-film and get back into it. So this one is quite a long one. We firstly got 10 makeup and skincare questions to get into. And the first one of that is, how high is your SPF when you are poolside, face and body? So the SPF I use is always 50 plus. And I'll tell you why. In Australia, our ozone layer and our protection from UV rays from the sun is not as high as other places in the world. We have a lot of UV rays pouring down on us. The sun is very ferocious where we are. There's a little bit of a hole in the ozone layer, I believe, and that's why it does that. So when you come to Australia or when you live in Australia, you learn very quickly to have a really high SPF on your body in summer. Whenever you leave the house, um, no matter what you're doing, the sun really beats down. And yeah, it's always SPF 50 for me. If, if I know I'm going to be uncovered in any way, um, even if it's just my face, I slather it. I absolutely slather it with SPF. Number two, for an eye look, what are your favorite summer colors? I love all these sunset eyes that people do in summer. I love the whole, let's do some yellows and some oranges and some reds together and do a whole gradient look. I absolutely love that. And yeah, I, I'm excited to try those types of looks when it is uh, summertime here. Sorry, yeah. Number three, what nail polish colors do you wear in summer? I'm not a nail polish wearer. Um, I don't like the smell of nail polish. I don't like how fast it chips on me. It's a lot of work. Like I've got nice nails. I won't deny that. But I'm just not a nails person. I do a lot with my nails and um, I worked a long, long time in hospitality and retail. And a lot of the times in hospitality and retail, um, they don't like you having extravagant nails and things like that. Um, they're very picky on the way you need to look and present yourself. So I've sort of grown up in that environment where we weren't allowed to have nail polish. And um, yeah, it's just sort of a habit that's stuck with me really. And even now, like if I wear nail polish and I'm cooking a lot of things or lifting a lot of boxes, it just chips off and um, yeah. But I have to say one thing I do like to see on other people in terms of nail polish, I love nice vibrant colours in summer. I love a vibrant orange. I think it looks awesome on most people's skin tones. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably my main pick. Number four, do you find yourself wearing less makeup in the heat? Most definitely. I'm all about comfort. I'm not about looking fantastic 24-7. That is not my thing. Um, Look, I, I do try and take care of myself and my skin and things like that. Uh, but in terms of outside looks, I don't tend to focus on wearing cute outfits and lots of makeup and things like that in summer. I just, I find it so unnecessary. And being a bigger girl myself, I definitely pride comfort over um, anything else. So yeah. Number five, do you use a light foundation, a BB cream or nothing at all? Nothing at all. I I don't like BB creams. I've used quite a few. They're always way too dark for my skin because I'm I'm a pale peach. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like light foundations either because as you guys can see, I have a lot of acne scarring um, and little divots and things like that. So I always need a bit more coverage. If I am going to do makeup, I need the coverage. So yeah, I don't, I'd rather have nothing at all than a light wash of 
makeup that emphasizes my texture and things like that so yeah number six do you use body highlighters no i think they're a pain in the butt um all that glitter all over my clothes and all over my body and in the shower and in the bath when i rinse mm. i'm not about that life number seven do you chill your skincare no I, i'm fairly bougie but i'm not that bougie i yeah i'm not about chilling skincare that's not my life number eight does your skin type change with the seasons most definitely i find i'm definitely a lot drier in the winter um and I usually have to moisturize, you know, fairly regularly in the winter. Um, I know a lot of people on here are probably going to be like, oh, you should moisturize every day, blah, blah, blah. If I moisturize every day, I'll break out. And I've never found a moisturizer that doesn't make me break out. I have tried gel moisturizers and things like that, and they actually just dry to a crisp on my face. So it's so hard finding a moisturizer that is going to work on my dry skin, but also doesn't break me out. So I prefer to use um, cleansers that are moisturizing. Um, I tend to do things like that, or I will put a thicker cream on in the shower and rinse it off. I often do that as a mask type of thing. Um, yeah, what was the question? Yeah, my skin type does change. Yeah, so definitely in summer, I cannot put any sort of moisturizing cleanser on my face at all. It has to be quite a full-on cleanser to get rid of all the gunk and everything. Um, and I sweat a lot. So most of the time, if I put a moisturizer on, it ends up down here in my eyes and it stings. So, yeah. Number nine, what is your favorite setting spray to lock it all in? Well, I actually just purchased a setting spray and I do like it. Um, surprisingly, it is the ColourPop All Star Face Setting Spray. And surprisingly, it's going well. Um, the scent's really nice. It's a nice, light, jasmine y, florally fragrance, which I enjoy. I like the bottle. It's very sturdy plastic, it's thick. Um, I don't feel like if I dropped this on the floor, it would smash into a million pieces, which is good. So, yeah, I don't think I found. A setting spray yet that I really enjoy. I have tried the Urban Decay one and I don't like it. Um, but yeah, this is probably the closest thing I've found to sort of a facial spray or a setting spray that I enjoy. Number 10, what is your must-have summer makeup items or what are your must-have summer makeup items should I say? Um, look, I think the two that I'm going to be going for personally in the summer coming up is the Flower Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I mean, look at that. And it is so cheap as well. I think it's only like, is it $15 US? I can't remember now. But that, that is pretty darn cheap. And it's, it's a gorgeous little compact. I like it. It's got good colours. And then the other one is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I've just received as well. And... Yeah, just gorgeous. I think these will definitely be my go-to products. So the next three questions are about fashion. Number one, what is your favorite article of clothing to wear in summer? Shorts and t-shirts, because I'm all about comfort. I'm not about being a diva and being bougie and all of that sort of thing. I like to be comfortable. I like to cover up all my fat rolls and yeah, just be happy in my own skin. Number two, what accessories are your favorites in summer? I like sunglasses, definitely. I'm not a big accessories person. Um, I just, yeah, I'm not about that. I'm not about having accessories and things like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't like a lot of bangles and things like that. And I find in summer it makes it even worse if you're sweating and you've got all this jewelry on. I'm not about that life. But sunglasses, um, a crossbody bag is really important, I think. Yeah. Number three, capri shorts, skirts, or dresses? Capri shorts, definitely. Um, that's definitely what I like to wear and I make a habit of wearing because of chafing. Nobody likes chafing and it's not cute and it's not pretty to be walking around in a cute dress and have chafing underneath and be in pain. So yeah. Next one is six lifestyle questions. Number one, do you like camping? 
no, I do not like camping. I hate it with passion. Um, I explained on another one of these summer tag uh, questions in another video. I hate being uncomfortable. I hate having to share um, bathrooms with people. That's one thing I'm so picky about. Like I like having my own bathroom space and being able to do my own routine and my own thing. Um, and I don't like the feeling of having like nature potentially just rip my tent open and mess me up. I hate that. And I hate having to cook around a fire. I think, you know, we're past the caveman days. We're in the 21st century. We should just cook in an oven like normal people. Number two, what is your favorite song that gets you in the summer mood? Um, I always have like changing songs. I don't really have favorite songs all the time. Um, I tell you what, I am liking Iggy Azalea's new music, uh, the In My Defense album. When I do pick that up, uh, that will definitely be something I'll be blasting in summer. Um, it's got some good tunes on there. Sally Walker is one of the songs on there. Um, she's independent now. She's no longer with a label. So I'm excited to hear what she does. Number three, here we go. What do you like to drink? Is it alcoholic or non-alcoholic? I do not like alcohol. I do not drink alcohol. Um, I find that even like half a drink gets me tipsy and I feel very dehydrated. Um, my body is quite a sensitive uh, place. <laughs> so I don't like to drink and I don't, I don't find it comfortable to drink. Um, but I do like water. I love to keep hydrated and drink a lot of water. I love um, unsweetened iced tea um, or lightly sweetened, depending on my mood. I like sugar-free sodas. I like homemade lemonade. Um, yeah, I don't like things too high in sugar uh, for the summertime. Yeah. Number four, what is your favourite summertime treat? Um, I do like the iced tea for summer, definitely. But I think ice cream is probably my safest thing that I like to have in the summertime that I find is a good treat to have. Yeah. Uh, I like chalk chip mint is probably my favorite. Number five, do you play sports in the summer? Mm -mm, I'm not about that life. I turn into a hermit in summer. I stay indoors. I do not leave my house unless it's absolutely necessary. I just hate being outside when it's the summertime. And the last question, number six, what is your favorite summertime memory? Um, I think being a kid and just running around the sprinklers and things like that, um, you know, back when you could before the drought happened in Australia and we had to get rid of all that sort of stuff. And we're still on semi-permanent semi water restrictions. So yeah, I mean, it's a nice little memory running around the sprinklers. It was like a mini waterfall as a kid, um, running in, in and out of them with your little bathing suit on. So yeah, it's a nice little memory to have. So there we go. That is my version of this tag. If you'd like to do your own version, please feel free. I always tag everyone in every video. Uh, I can never keep track of who's done the tag and who likes to do tags. I follow so many people. So if you'd like to do it, I tag you go for it. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, press subscribe and the thumbs up button. That helps me a lot. And leave a nice comment. I reply to everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.